Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of How to Food. Today I'll be making a southern fried chicken sandwich. This is very simple and yet again amazing. I'm going to start off by showing you how to debone your own chicken thighs. You can get it deboned and skinless, but it's much more affordable to debone it yourself. Start off by, the by getting a chicken thigh. You can remove the skin first, simply just pulling it off from the one side. You can locate the bone and then you can just go down straight on top of the bone. You can just go down on top of it. So if you're dealing with a, a big thigh, you can pound it thinner. In this case, the thighs aren't very big. So we'll simply be adding this to our bowl and then adding the buttermilk and brine it overnight. So simply add this to a bowl, put in a little bit of spice, a little bit of garlic salt, a little bit of salt and pepper. A little bit of sriracha. And then buttermilk. Before we get the chicken out of the fridge, it's been marinating for 24 hours in the brine. We'll be making a quick pickle again. It's the same ratio as the jalapeno pickle previously, or why fix it when it's not broken. So first we start off by three red onions, just removing the skins and chopping it in nice slices. So basically we're just slicing the onions, try and get thickerish slices or thicker slices just so it holds a little bit of its integrity when pickling. If you prefer having half onions just chop it down the middle and then try and guide with your middle finger put your tuck your thumb behind it and then move along as you chop move along. Place the onions to the side and get your pan. For the quick pickle it's the same as always 200 milliliters of water 200 milliliters of apple cider vinegar, 45 grams of sugar, and then 15 grams of salt. Once it's brought to a boil, add your onions and remove from it. Pickle done. So let's get started. Some vinegar. I prefer using apple cider vinegar. You can use red wine vinegar, white wine vinegar. You can use any vinegar, but I prefer apple cider vinegar. Three spoons of sugar. You can add any aromatics to your pickle, like mustard seeds, coriander seeds, bay leaves, garlic cloves. I always just add a garlic clove, so I've always got it in the pantry. So that's very simple. Give it a little crush, just to be able to release some of that flavor. Now we'll be adding the salt. Simply pour your onions over into the mason jar and try not mess as much as I'm going to mess now. And that's your pickled red onions done. Very, very simple. You can use this in a multiple dishes. It's very, very diverse and it's always nice to have in your fridge. Put that to the side and let's move on to the dredging. So for this is the breading station. Mm -hmm. Add some all-purpose flour to the bottom. Okay, that's about it. Okay, to the all-purpose flour, we will be adding some cayenne pepper, lots of paprika, some garlic salt, some normal salt, and pepper. And also add a little bit of baking powder. I really found that adding the baking powder makes very light texture on the chicken and it doesn't give that baked flavor at all that you think that baking powder will add. So this is your marinated buttermilk chicken. Simply, we're gonna make sure it's coated with buttermilk. 
trench it in the flour and then a very overlooked step is resting it on a cooling tray 20 minutes before frying it makes a big difference small tip add some of the drops of buttermilk into your mix it will give a few little nooks and crannies of combined dough which makes it very very crispy and nice you're gonna make a little bit of a mess guys when frying but that's fine we clean up the same surface anywhere afterwards as you can see here guys I've included the whole chicken because I've already got the flour mixture and the brine so I just added the whole cut up chicken For our sauce, we'll be having a sriracha mayo sauce. It goes amazingly well with southern fried chicken. It's literally just sriracha and mayonnaise mixed. To add any of your frying oil of choice, peanut oil, canola oil, sunflower, any of those oils, and then bring it to heat. For this fry, we're not gonna go extremely high, because we're cooking chicken with bone in and chicken without the bone. The bone in chicken, takes quite a while so if your oil temperature is too high you will end up burning the outside before the inside is cooked at all so we're gonna go with a medium fry and fry for about 15 to 20 minutes on the bone in pieces as you can see it's not extremely hot oil but it's just what we're looking for you can leave the chicken for a while you don't want to touch it too much because then you're going to break off lots of pieces of the crust and also it tends to stick if you try and move it around the whole time. Just leave it for a little bit before moving it. Just before your chicken is done, take your toasted buns, like always, this looks amazing. Take some normal iceberg lettuce and just slice it. While we're still frying away there guys, we can start preparing our southern fried chicken sandwich or burger. Sriracha mayo goes on the bottom and the top. On top of that we'll put some shredded lettuce. Once you're satisfied with your chicken and it's fully cooked, you're going to remove it and place it on a kitchen towel just to absorb some of the oil and then that's the time to salt it again while it's still nice and hot. Place your deboned chicken thigh on top of the lettuce and then top it up with your freshly made onion pickles pickled onions I'd rather say that and that's it guys sandwich done and that's it guys very simple and amazing. As you can see, I used the chicken breast in this one and that also makes an amazing fried chicken burger. It just gives you a little bit of a different flavor. It's a little bit firmer, but it's a bit more substantial. But it works perfectly. So if you remove the other part of the chicken, as you can see, crispy and hot, you always salt them immediately. Otherwise the salt doesn't get absor absorbed into the chicken. This is extremely crispy guys and very, very flavorful. I'm gonna show you guys another little trick for those of you that like some hot food. You can use a stainless steel bowl or a plastic container, doesn't matter. And then you simply take your chicken wings place it in the bowl they've already been salted put some sriracha and then we shake it around you can make it hotter if you want you can add even more sriracha it's all to your own taste fried chicken can be quite versatile as you can see a chicken burger pickled onions sriracha chicken wings and your normal classic fried chicken and that's a wrap guys, 
please remember all the exact ingredients is in the description below and please remember to like and subscribe